Hey guys, I'm Kira, and if you need to insert stress marks in Russian when you type, this is the video for you. So if we want to insert stress marks as we're typing, we need Microsoft Word. So let's get out a Microsoft Word document. And here, let's start typing in Russian. We're going to change the input from the US keyboard to the Russian phonetic keyboard, and we'll start typing Ruski Music. And we would want to insert a stress mark over the U and the E, and we can certainly do that using the Edit menu. We'll get out Emoji and Symbols, and we'll click this upper right, the symbol in the upper right corner, because we need to find the correct symbol. It's not easily found. Its code is 0301. I have done the searching, and if I select this mark, you can see that it's called the combining acute accent. That means it combines with other letters beautifully. It will type over, above them, and that's exactly what we need. So let's do that right now. We'll place our cursor just after the letter that we want the um, accent to combine with, and we'll double click that combining acute accent. Take a look at the cursor. I'm going to double click it now. And it added, and now we'll go do that for the E as well. The only problem with this procedure is, of course, you have to be going back and forth between your document and this window here. So instead, what we're going to do now is assign a macro to this accent. And we're going to do that. Here, let's uh, type a letter. Just an A ah will work just fine. And we're going to get ready to record the action that we want to be assigned to a keystroke. I know that might be a little confusing right now. Just stay with me. We're going to go now to record that keystroke using this menu here, the view menu that's actually in the document. So click view, and you can see that something called macros is in this menu. Go ahead and click on the drop down menu. We're going to record a macro or a set of keystrokes, and we're going to assign that to an action that we're going to perform. And when we assign it, how we assign it is that we record the actual action and then we stop recording, and that's what gets assigned to the keystrokes. So let's go ahead and click Record Macro. We're going to call this Accent, and so I'm going to switch between uh, English and Russian. Accent is what we're calling it, and I do want this macro, this shortcut, to be assigned to my keyboard because that's the most convenient when I'm typing. So the thing that I have to do now is to assign the keystrokes to the function that I want them to do. I happen to like Command J, and so that's what I pressed there. It says, it tells me it's currently assigned to justifying paragraphs, but I really don't care about having a shortcut for justifying paragraphs. I never justify them anyway. And so I'm just going to click Assign. And when I click OK here, this macro is going to start recording. The function that I want to perform is going to start recording. And then I'm going to stop the recording as soon as I've performed the function, and that action is what gets assigned to this accent macro that I'm creating. Let's click OK. And now all we have to do is come over here and double click our accent mark. It added the accent mark to our ah there. And now we can come up here and stop recording. That's the most efficient way of recording an action. And so now we've done everything, actually. So if we come over here and we switch from English to Russian and we start typing RU, I can insert my stress mark immediately by typing Command J. Boom! So quick, right? Ruski and then YAZ, Command J, Ka. So quick, so easy, so fantastic. Hope that was helpful. Subscribe, share, and check out my video course at unlockingrussianpronunciation.org. Shisliva!